Good morning, Gabriella May. What do we have today? Aren't they smushed? No, they're going to be getting out of there soon. So this one just hatched. I think we have eight, right? And some are little... That one's mine. Little brownies. I named him Brownie. And some are little white ones. They're so cute. So that we have about three we're waiting on. But we've had eight hatch, so we're leaving the shells. Now, if I was to do this again, I should have taken out this yellow tray and put down like a non-skid surface. You can cut one, you can like use this tray as a guide and cut out like the, that waffle weave shelf fabric liner stuff. Are they hungry? Um, and put it at the bottom around day 17. Aren't they hungry? Aren't they hungry? That's a great, great question. So inside their egg, they had all the nutrition that they need to survive and they can live for a couple of days in the incubator while the rest of them are hatching while they're waiting uh, to go into so the they brooder. Eat stuff out of their eggs? They got enough nutrition from all of, from the yolk and from all of the stuff that was inside their egg to be able to live for a couple of days. It's just really important that we keep the humidity up. So see, this one, this one's, um, not a so this particular incubator, we put water in the back and you can see the humidity is like at 87%. It should be really high above like 65% during the last few days because and you're not to lift the top. Do you remember why we don't lift the top, Gabriella? Die. What, why? What happens to the chicks that are starting to hatch? Oh, so they can get shrink wrapped and so they could be starting to hatch and be pipping a hole through, but there's a like a a membrane on the inside of the egg that wraps around the baby chicks and if you let air in and the humidity escapes it can actually shrink wrap around them, make it too hard for them to hatch and they can die. And so we do not lift the top of the incubator. They are really cute though. Good morning, baby chicks. Welcome to Full and Family Farm. Yeah. Can you say like, subscribe and share? Yeah. You're too shy. Like, subscribe and share to Full and Family Farm. These are the new additions. So we actually do have almost 50 chicks that are almost three weeks old that are in the barn right now. And those ones are about, they're almost three weeks old and they are guinea keats and um, some other egg layers. Whereas these ones are egg layers from our, um, our backyard chickens. These are from our white uh, azures so you can see that the eggs are like a slightly bluer tint so we collected all our blue eggs and unfortunately some of their mothers had gotten attacked by a predator so some of these babies all came from the mothers that are no longer here so that's why we really wanted to keep them um, the difference is that we don't know if these are ruse or if these are uh, hens whereas all the other ones that we got are all hens so You'll see they'll be coming out soon. You can see that they're drying off those little, their little fluff. And I can't believe how much they puff up in one, one day. They get so fluffy. But that, just because they're fluffy, don't think that that means they can stay warm on their own. They actually need a temperature that's around 95 degrees. It's actually 99 and a half degrees in, right, in here right now. They need high temperatures to keep them warm until they fully um, get all their their real feathers because they cannot retain their own body temperature until then. So that's why you need to put a heater in your brooder um, to keep the temperature up and then you can reduce the temperature by five degrees every week until they can go outside. You can see they get really sleepy even when they're when they're chicks because they're babies so when they first hatch you'll see them like fall asleep a lot then they wake up and get at it 
So we're hoping all these ones survive because these came from ours that we lost. And they are a mix of our, well, we think they're a mix of our Buff Warpington rooster and our Azure hens. But we'll see because we did have a couple other roosters and the hens got out a few times. So it's possible that they got bred to the other roosters and the eggs were fertilized by them. But they pretty much are around the Buff Warpington the most. So we'll see. We'll see what you guys end up being. Either way, it's exciting every time something new life comes into the world. It's so cute. Have a great day.